Hey guys, it's Viv, and today I'm here with Roman and Paisley, and for today's video, we are going to be showing you guys how we edit and take our Instagram photos. Also, on the day that this video will go up, it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Um, I did release two different Valentine's Day videos, if you want to go watch those, I will link them in the description box below. But since you're here watching this one, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so as I mentioned before, for my Barbie photos, I use my phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S4, and it has a pretty good camera. I mean, it's not like the best quality camera, but it's pretty good. And what I recommend you guys want to do, especially if you're going to take Instagram photos and you want to crop your photos in a square, then have the grid on your phone and make sure that your photo really only takes up these, or like the stuff, like the composition you want of that photo only takes up like these because then that'll give you a square. This actually looks so cool. So for my um, American Girl photos or whatever photos you might have seen on my Dolly Delights Instagram that are more recent, I started using this camera right here. This is the Canon PowerShot G15, I'm pretty sure, and it's just a little point and shoot camera, nothing So fancy. when I'm taking my picture, usually outside for Pais I go outside for Paisley and I will cover Roman stuff in the next clip. But for what I do with Paisley is I set her up either in front of like a cute background like this, in her room or outside, and then I just position her to where I want, and then I just take a photo. So on my little delights Instagram, you'll notice that I really don't ever go outside with Roman, and she's normally on like a plain white background, or just some type of plain background, or in one of my doll rooms. And the secret I have for this is actually to just like lay down some type of clothing with a cool pattern or texture. This is just like a plain white t-shirt that I had and I just laid it down and then I laid Roman on top of it and it looks really good for a little background. And then I just position her to the way I want it to be and then I go in with my phone to take the picture. In terms of lighting my pictures, my biggest tip that I have to recommend is use natural lighting. But over here in the corner of my room, my phone doesn't really pick up the natural light as well as my camera does, so I'm going to be using a lamp just to give my photo a little bit more light. So this is my lamp. This is actually just like the lamp I keep on my bedside table. It's by this brand called Encore, I think. I think I might have talked about it in a previous video. I'm not really sure. I think I cut that part out. So this is like, you see it has a bunch of settings. So I. So like, these will give you like yellow lights, and yellow lights, they'll work if you want that type of like filtery look. But I recommend, if you want something more natural looking, to go with a white light. So what I do is I just turn the light on yellow, or not yellow, white, I just told you not to do it on yellow. And then I will position Roman and then take the picture that I like. Okay, so once I have taken my photo, I'll either open it up in the gallery app, or I will um, take it from my camera, import it onto a USB, and then email that to myself so that it ends on, on my phone, which I know probably isn't the most efficient way to do things, but I like doing it that way. So you're gonna go, the app program that I use to edit all my photos is Alice. It used to be called Line Camera, and I think they changed it back to Line Camera, but I haven't updated my app yet. So I'm gonna use Alice. So I'm gonna choose the photo that I want. I'll cover Romans first. So I'm gonna choose it and then I'm gonna crop it to how I like. And I'm gonna choose the design button down here. So once I get here, I use two different filters for what I want. So I'll show you Romans first again. On my Little Delights Instagram, I'm going for kind of like a crisp white theme. So I use the filter and it's called White Cat, as you can see down there. And then I'm going to increase the brightness a little bit, just because I want it to be a little bit whiter. And then I'm going to bring the contrast a little down, and then I think that looks good. And it'll match my feet a little nice. Next, use the text tool down here to add a watermark. Okay. So let's say I want to edit a picture of Paisley. I'm going to just choose another photo from my... Um, gallery the same way as I did before, and I'm going to hit design. Once it loads in, I use the filter clear. So it's just like the second one on the default setting, and it just enhances the colors a little bit and makes the photo look crisp. 
And then, again, you know, I just put my watermark on there. So pretty much the same thing. It's really simple. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, if you have any more questions about how I edit my Instagram photos and if I didn't cover it in this video, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer it. Or you can even leave it on my Instagram on a photo that you want to ask a question about. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, Ever After High and Barbie videos as well. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you soon. Bye!